New York City is on the brink as a massive protest sweeps its streets. The city that never sleeps is now a city on edge. From the towering skyscrapers to the bustling subway platforms, a palpable tension fills the air. The cause? A wave of demonstrations swelling like a thunderstorm over the city's iconic skyline. Among the sea of voices echoing through the concrete canyons, a distinct rumble stands out. The growl of truck engines. A potential trucker protest is brewing in the heart of the city, with Times Square as its epicenter. Fueled by a myriad of grievances, the truckers are revving up to make their discontent known. These protests are not without their clashes. The city's police force, a blue line stretched thin, finds itself on the front line of this unrest. Confrontations are erupting, turning the city's streets into arenas of discord. The iconic sights of New York, the billboards of Times Square, the lush greenery of Central Park, now serve as backdrops to a city in turmoil. In response to this unrest, Governor Kathy has issued a stark warning. Traffic from 34th Street to Bryant Park is expected to be blocked due to the trucker protests. The governor urges drivers to take precautions, an ominous sign of the disruption looming over the city. Yet amid the cacophony of honking horns and chanting crowds, New York pulses on. Its people, resilient as the city's steel and concrete, adapt and endure. The city's heartbeat may be irregular, its rhythm disrupted, but it beats on nonetheless. As night falls, the city's iconic skyline, usually a beacon of dreams and ambitions, becomes a silhouette against a backdrop of uncertainty. The city's lights flicker, casting long shadows on the streets below. The city is holding its breath, as if bracing for a storm. As the city holds its breath, the question remains, what will the dawn bring? In a surprising turn of events, former President Trump scores a win in the Supreme Court. This legal triumph centers around a case that has been a significant talking point in recent months. Despite the victory, it's not all sunshine and rainbows for Trump. He's facing a hefty fine of $350 million, and there are limitations placed on his operations within the Empire State. This case, complex and contentious, has seen Trump's legal team battling tooth and nail, striving to tilt the scales in their favor. Their efforts have not been in vain, with the Supreme Court ruling in favor of the former president. However, the victory is somewhat overshadowed by the significant financial penalty and operational restrictions that have been imposed. The implications of this ruling are far-reaching. The $350 million fine is set to put a dent in Trump's financial armor, while the restrictions on his New York operations could potentially stifle his business ventures in the state. There is no doubt that this is a significant blow to Trump's business empire and one that could have lasting effects. The ripple effects of this court ruling are already being felt, with major investment firms and financial giants reconsidering their presence in New York. The legal actions against Trump have created a sense of uncertainty and instability that could potentially reshape the city's business landscape. While a victory in court, the repercussions of this ruling on Trump's business ventures remain uncertain. Opening. The tremors from the courtroom are felt in the boardrooms as businesses rethink their stakes in New York. The verdict in the Supreme Court has sent shockwaves far beyond the political arena. As the dust begins to settle, we find the foundations of New York's business landscape trembling. Major investment firms and financial giants, the lifeblood of the city's economy, are now wavering in their commitment to the Big Apple. The legal actions against former President Trump have cast a long and uncertain shadow over the city's corporate world. These titans of industry, once drawn to the city's vibrant energy and promise of prosperity, are now questioning their involvement. This is not merely a shifting of chairs around the boardroom table, it's a potential exodus that could leave a gaping hole in the city's economy and job market. The city, renowned as a global financial hub, now stands on shaky ground. The questions being asked are not just about the immediate fallout of the court verdict, but also about the long-term ripple effects. How will New York maintain its economic vitality if these behemoths choose to pack up and leave? What will become of the millions who depend on these companies for their livelihoods? The impact is not only monetary, it's about the spirit and identity of New York itself. A city that has always been a magnet for the ambitious and the audacious now faces an uncertain future. Closing. As the city's corporate pillars waver, the future of New York's business landscape hangs in the balance. The ripple effects of the trucker protest in NYC could be felt far beyond its city limits. The power of this protest isn't confined to the towering skyscrapers and bustling streets of the Big Apple. 
It's a ripple that could grow into a wave, sweeping across the vast expanses of the United States. Let's consider the potential implications of a trucker boycott. The trucks, the lifeblood of America's supply chain, are integral to our daily lives. They deliver everything from your morning cup of coffee to the screen you're watching this on right now. If these trucks stop rolling, it could disrupt the flow of goods, not just in New York, but nationwide. The impact on prices could be immediate and wide-ranging. With supply chains disrupted, the cost of goods could skyrocket. Everything from your grocery bill to the price tag on your next online order could see a sharp increase. It's not just about paying a few extra bucks for a gallon of milk or a loaf of bread. It's about the ripple effect that could touch every corner of the economy. Moreover, the potential disruptions could extend beyond consumer goods. They could impact industries far and wide. From manufacturing to retail, from agriculture to technology, no sector would be immune. The trucker boycott could send shockwaves through the economy, shaking the very foundations of our market system. But it's not all doom and gloom, this is also a moment of reflection. It's a chance for us to reevaluate our reliance on these complex supply chains. It's an opportunity to consider more sustainable and resilient alternatives. Perhaps this is the wake-up call we need to innovate and adapt. As we navigate these uncertain times, one thing is clear. The power of the trucker protest extends far beyond the city limits of New York. It's a nationwide concern with far-reaching implications. As the wheels of these trucks grind to a halt, they could set off a chain reaction that reverberates through America's economy.